Hello, welcome to another episode of Million Dollars But. I'm Gavin, and today I'm joined by my lovely boss, Trevor, and my bossy lover, Chad. <laughs> I didn't know I was bossy. I can You're work very on that. bossy, especially in the bedroom. I know what I like. I like to be told what to do. <laughs> Job done. Why don't we play some MD Bizzle? Okay. Do you pay for that? Out of my pocket? Yeah. No, we just expense it to the company. Oh, okay. Yeah. Easy. So, million dollars, but, which I've been told that is a lot of money. That is correct. Every time you see something illegal, no matter how small, you have to a citizen's arrest. You see somebody crossing the street. Stop! All right, that's jaywalking. You get in the car. We're going downtown. You cuff her up and you, and you drag her to jail. And like, <laughs> you're in your bedroom. You, you draw your blinds. You pull up a torrented movie. I was just about to say, Me illegal jaywalking. through the window. What's happening in here? <laughs> How did you see him do that? They've got eyes and ears everywhere. <laughs> and there's some weird laws. I found out that Texas, apparently, it is illegal to own more than six dildos. So like, art department would be screwed. When you take them downtown, when you show up, he's like, oh, well, you know, I caught him with seven dildos, which is, you know, one too many. <laughs> and you, I, like, I think there are benefits to this power. You turn on the TV for some classic television, it's the news, there's a huge bank heist. You gotta go. You could sue up. You become you a crime have, fighter? You could have the best kiss. Modern day superheroes? So now you're past all the armored SWAT team. <laughs> I have permits for all of these. <laughs> Legally, oh, yeah. immediately become a hostage. Legally. I filled out. <laughs> Picture this: school zone. Somebody comes by 26 miles an hour. So you have to slap your little red light on your roof and go after them. You have a slow, low speed chase. Pull over. Yep, and you do it right in front of all the kids. They watch yep. you dive out of your car, tackle some person, and take them to jail. I probably wouldn't take it. <laughs> I'd set up my own scenario, but I don't think I'd take the million dollars. I'm not taking this. I'm not taking the money. I would definitely take it. You would do it? I'm gonna uphold the law. You are such a square. You know, technically, <sighs> I'm sure this whole situation of you get a million dollars, but it's kind of like a illegal. small gamble. Yeah. Oh, God. All right, guys, well, we gotta go. Okay, guys, so a million dollars, but anytime you drink anything, a random patch of your body hair just explodes out. Oh, just super long. Just, I feel like I'm at an immediate disadvantage. <laughs> oh my god, the nose you hair. You could suffocate if your nose just kind of like... <laughs> to breathe through your nose again, you just have to grab onto those things and just like... Uh, and just oh, rip them out. So oh. if, if you happen to have a terrible accident, mm -hmm. they put you in a coma, yep. you're on an IV, mm -hmm. you're getting constant hydration. Constant the hair's just gonna explode out so quickly that all the doctors are pressed against the window. <laughs> Day, and oh, then yeah. the hair starts talking. <laughs> <laughs> he grabs his throat, let me out. They're like, help us. And then the hair moves in front of them and takes them away. There's a couple of sides to this one because totally forget that this party you showed up at is a <laughs> Halloween themed party and just you're just going to the kitchen. It's one of those water dispensers, you just pull the whole thing on. <laughs> <laughs> drop it in your Chewbacca. Just walk in. It's one of those, <gasps> what if everything went right except your pubic area and you're just Chewbacca with your dick out? <laughs> Just Chewbacca with like a pale white blur. Chewbacca. Chewbacca. <laughs> so guys, would you do this? Personally, couldn't handle it. I'm used to being extremely hairy already, and I feel like I got it down. I can trim pretty well. I'll take it. I'll take the buns. You can control it, so I'm, yeah. I take I take the money. Okay, chaps. A million dollars, but whenever you stop moving, time also stops. So are you talking like moving, like walking? Like, Blinking doesn't count. Blinking doesn't count. Like what happens when you go to sleep? Because that's Do you sleep. actually sleep? You sleep, oh, but no. time stops. Nobody's perfectly still in their sleep. You go, <laughs> and then you die. Well, that would be incredibly convenient. Would it though? You keep aging. That's terrible. You might as well take the top 30 of your life off. You would always win in a boxing match. Oh my God. Because you technically would never be knocked out. Careful, they call him the sleeping uppercut. <laughs> Why? Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. But you think it'd be like a superpower. Like yeah. if someone shot you, you could just look at your impending death yeah. oh. for a long time. You no. assess the situation, <laughs> you try to do some mental math, some figures fly around in your head, and you're like, I think I can do it. And you can't do anything. But then what happens? You just bleed out and die. You couldn't go to the hospital because you'd be knocked out. Time is forever just done. Yeah. Oh my god. So if you don't die at the end of your life and you end up in a coma, uh huh. I mean, you're just like forever dreaming. So like, but everyone else is just, they're, they're just uh, gone. Everyone, that's it. Yeah, I'm not taking it. 
Hey guys, thanks for watching Million Dollars But. If you enjoyed this episode, you're probably going to enjoy our game. We've got the MDB party game as well as the expansion packs available at mdbgame.com. Just click this link somewhere around here so that you can find out what you, your family, your friends would all do for a million dollars. Hey, can you do me a favor? Can you have a great day? Thanks.